ladies first, ladies first. Ooh, ladies first, ladies first. Yes, I am giving you ladies first action. Queen Latifah would be like, yes. So, welcome back to Real Talk and Healthy Food. It's your girl, okay? So, what I'm coming through and talking about, first, we're going to talk about a few things here. So, I'm going to freestyle this video off top and just to let you know, I've been paying attention. Excuse me. <clears throat> me, me, me. I've been paying attention. I just been choosing not to respond. Uh, I've been focused on other things. <laughs> it's real shit going on out here. YouTube is playing them games. Uh, they've been playing with your girl off top from the rip. That's why I'm mad stagnant. Another video. We're talking about NBA young boy and Floyd Mayweather's daughter. Ayana, that's her name, Ayana. Yo, I had to whole Google her. Of course, a briefing. Check one, two. I don't know neither one of the motherfuckers. Now, because of a few exes and a few things, I'm familiar with some things. But that is just not somebody I'm about to turn on. I mean, gets no play in my right. I'm from a different time. It is what it is. Peep the intro. Ooh, ladies first. Ladies first. So I'm saying, here it is. NBA young boy got Floyd Mayweather's daughter. And apparently they together. So the first clip that I saw is this. Oh, my wife. Oh, my wife say, I got to go. I mean, just the way he ripping and running through the house is a no, girl. No. For your girl. You not about to be just loud as fuck in the motherfucking house for no reason while I'm up here asleep. I don't give a fuck how much square footage it is in that motherfucker. We keeping it cute and on mute after 7 o'clock. It's think time. It's read time. It's jazz time. It's wine time. It's whatever time. But it's not that time. For no nigga to be running around the house loud as fuck. I don't give a fuck about what the fuck he got going on. About to be coming up some motherfucking stairs and waking me the fuck up. Who the fuck? I'm a grown ass woman in this motherfucking bed. Who the fuck? Like, wh where the fuck did that become okay? Now, am I that far removed? I think I am that far removed. Let's rewind it back. But we're going to go through this together. But I'm just saying, like, that's where I am today. But maybe back then, I might have been on some all he bugging type shit, right? Let's talk about that. I was going to say something else and present all these, like, receipts and extra be like a gossipy channel and extra be like you know oh showing the clips and oh this is the shit and just is this is the that and as i got to looking in i feel exactly the same way i did last week this shit's a week old right the update is that Floyd Mayweather is just like, bitch, you're fucking up. I mean, he didn't say, bitch, you're fucking up. He just doesn't give a fuck about that. Like, this nigga is the kind of nigga that wins. You feel what I'm saying? So he's like, if you're not on the winning side, then you're a fucking loser. And I'm going to fuck with the kid that wins. And he's not going to give a fuck. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. It reminds me of the video that I made, I think, like a week ago, talking about a, a, a few weeks, uh, Steven, uh, uh, Steven, whatever the fuck that basketball player telling the young black men to, you know, um, telling them 
that to not fuck with a dark-skinned black woman. And he, he blamed his bad choices on us. And it's like, bruh, didn't nobody tell you to fuck all them bitches and have like five whole kids by five whole different bitches? Like, have several seats. I'm gonna need you to stop. So, this is a living, breathing example of what it is that I was talking about last week. This is the this is that fuck shit that I'm talking about. You remember the example I gave you? Balling ass fuckheads. That was the example. You remember? You remember I sold you the video about Pac when he was kicking it with Dr. Khaled Muhammad and all those fools in there. And he they was like, they want me to watch my cousin, but fuck that. This is one of those moments also. I'm teaching you some real shit, and I'm like, fuck all that. Nice shit. You can't say shit like this nice. It's what time it is. Balling ass fuckheads. Case in motherfucking point. Look at this nigga. Look how he was just on the strip of that video. You know the rest of the shit that I'm gonna say is gonna be thrill as fuck. Like nigga, why the fuck would I lie? Why wouldn't I allow a motherfucking grown ass man to walk off in my motherfucking house and wake me up in the middle of the night? It, 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 knowing the fuck I gotta do whatever the fuck it is that I gotta do. Hella loud. Hella disrespectful. Hella showing out. Hella got me on live. Nigga, I was just in the midst of REM and now you got a camera in my face? What the fuck do I look like? A fuckhead? I'm going to need you to stop. Then you wake me up and disrespect my whole father. Hold up. Then what a nigga say? A nigga say it. Nigga say I cooperated. Oh, Shout out to Petty Armani. Show them some love. So, yeah, thanks for the content. Bitch. Huh? Oh, 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 my wife. Huh? Oh, my wife say, I got to get up. Falling ass fuckhead. Spoke on me from jail. Why the fuck you even watch me? You supposed to be a gangster, but you watch me from jail. Man, you a bitch. This nigga don't say, I cooperated with the fuck. I, I cooperated with the fuck. So, okay, 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 okay. Ooh, get that away from me, honey. No, we gotta get it away. Double time, double time, double time. I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. That's some bullshit. You know, check one, two. I know what the fuck it is. I know, I know exactly that feeling. And maybe that is my calling right there. Because I got some homework that I was given that I need to do. And that's something I need to jot down, okay? Let's tap into that right quick. You know what that is? That's that balling ass fuckhead shit. And I... And, and so enough of the feeling, allow me to try to verbalize this. What am I trying to verbalize? The behavior. When a nigga not giving a fuck, mad bitches want to fuck on him. He fucking mad bitches. You know what I'm saying? Those are all the things that I was listing out a few weeks ago or last week. He fucking mad bitches, but the dog, the stick is balling in the mix. You can get whatever the fuck you want. You know, all day, all, all day, all night, whatever, nigga. You, whatever, nigga. You feel me? So... Balling in the mix all day, all night. Bitches hitting the line, all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? This bitch end up stabbing the nigga's baby mama while she's motherfucking pregnant. And she lost the motherfucking baby. So now she might be facing whole motherfucking murder. And you know, let me tell you something. Ain't no pausing. Ain't no jokes. Like real fucking talk. There's, I'm going to just speak from my heart. There's some people out here 
that when it comes to love and shit, that they are like turning to monsters. Like for real, like for my man and all those shows, those shows where they dealing with motherfuckers and bitches in the fucking bed. Yo, that shit is real as fuck. Let me tell you something. You cannot be sitting around and playing with people's fucking real feelings. Because some people don't know how to handle that. While you are sitting around, laid up with somebody and telling them all the fla la 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 they believe that shit. Now, although you might not be connected to the things you saying, are you playing a game, or bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks, and I don't give a fuck about these hoes, and these hoes ain't loyal. Meanwhile, you're laying up with that one every day, every night. She taking all the shit, right? Some girls go with that right to the end, go through the change in life where the nigga wants to be a better guy and all of that, and she ends up being that one, right? That's one side. Some girls ride it out, fuck, do get, deal with all the fuck shit, and she's ride or die, just like the first girl, but she's ride or die, she's la 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 la, but she's like, man, fuck this, I'm out. Okay, you got me fucked up. Then there's the one bitch that's like, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to kill you and that bitch. Now, check what time it is. You thought I was playing games, nigga? I fucking told you I loved you. I fucking told you this is the second time I've seen this bitch. This bitch is now purposely disrespecting me. Oh, yeah, now y'all niggas is about to feel the motherfucking action. And I know what the fuck that's all about on everything and that's why i wanted to talk about this it's partially a story time and it's partially this and why do i keep referring to myself to the fucking stupid bitch that that stupid question just sticks in my head because i have experience here balling ass fuckheads now would I call her as in the other other scenario a fuck bitch? No, she's not a fuck bitch. She ain't needed for nothing. She she's always been on deck. Money is the last thing that this particular type of woman had to worry about. You know what I'm saying? Um, Silver Spoon, one hundred percent. Like she's all the way on deck. She ain't the, the the regular shit that most of us had to worry about coming up in life. Pish posh to her. Okay. The part where it relates to where something that I want to, you know, that thin line between love and hate. Ooh, that's a, a good analogy for this. And, and shit like that. That's exactly what I'm talking about. There's some of us that's mixed with a little bit in that. And I just so happen to be one of those. And so it's something about love that just strikes a chord. That thin line between love and hate is a very, very real thing. And that's that's the fucking lesson right there. And then, you know, ladies, you know what I'm saying? Even I had to check myself in some ways. Checking myself in some ways. How? What do I mean? There's a difference between being a hoe and you fucking that nigga. Excuse me for my sensitive folks. You're fucking that nigga, right? And you know he got a girl, but you don't give a fuck. Whoop, 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 and it's just like that, right? But there's another difference where you fucking a bitch is nigga and you know and you hella fucking disrespectful. She know you, you know you know her, you don't give a fuck. That's another thing right there. When you're intentionally uh, have the conscious understanding that you're fucking with somebody shit, then I mean it, I don't want nobody coming on my shit and coming at me all kind of fucked up, but it is what the fuck it is. Let's give another example. Like on that fucking um, Eminem song and Dre song 
where at the end Dre caught his girl, uh, his wife getting fucked by some dude, and he blasted that fool. That happens all the time. That that's not no no new shit. You see what I'm saying? That's that that's what I'm trying to stress here. You know what I'm saying? And so I don't give a fuck that it's NBA young boy. There's Kevin's and Daryl's and all the motherfuckers. There's Lisa's and Tasha's and Nicole's and Amanda's and Tracy's and Susan's and, and Keisha's and Shaquisha's that don't mark the bitch for fucking with her nigga dog. And that's that's what I'm saying. You can't be fucking playing games with everybody. Because everybody is not nice and not everybody gives a fuck about you. So, you know, while these niggas is out here promoting all this infidelity and shit out here and thinking that shit is hot, you're going to fuck around with the right bitch and have to learn your lesson like Martin did. Maybe y'all need to watch a thin line between love and hate because that's real. And, and and maybe I'm just supposed to say that today. But I just want to let y'all motherfuckers know. And for women too. Like w women and don't be black. Get it the worst. So I just wanted to jump in on that. Look at that. It don't matter how rich you are. And, and they saying that, oh, her father ain't fucking with her like that. Nigga, please. That's why she's straight how she's straight right now. On the strip for her motherfucking father's name. So what he's spending on that shit ain't a blink to that nigga. Now, he might not be personally or emotionally involved. But the basic shit that I was on, if it was fucking me getting locked, that's it. You feel me? So if she was really on some fucking regular degular bitch shit, she would be in there right now, in there. This bitch at home in this nigga bed, getting posted on live, hella disrespectful. This bitch was literally a second from a dream ago, and now she's fucking on the camera with thousands of bitches that want to fuck her nigga, and he's proving a point about a nigga who's fucking in jail. Like, that sounds like some fucking gay shit to me. Why the fuck are you so mad about what the fuck another nigga's got to say while this nigga's fucking locked? Like, nigga, what the fuck is that? Like, that sounds like some shit that a bitch do. Like, leave that talky-talky shit to us. That's what we do. We talk, 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 and we la, 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 and we ching, ching, ching. Can we do that? Can we have our stuff? Do I have to keep questioning my femininity? Do I got to keep running across niggas that want to be girls all the time? Like, how are you so hot about a nigga who's fucking in jail where you're waking up a woman that you're labeling as your wife out of her sleep and then have the audacity to call her father a bitch-ass nigga not once, but twice after waking up his child and you're going to call her your wife? What kind of fucking bitch-ass husband are you? Like, father divorce before he proposes. If that is the case, why the fuck would I ever want to, why would a bitch want to be married to somebody like that? That looks like a lifetime of fucking, of motherfucking misery and pain and loneliness. That's what it looks like. And it looks like you ain't going to get no sleep either. Because this nigga going to be running around the house trying to prove a point to a nigga in jail. I'm going to need niggas to grow up and understand how much we need them right now. Do you fucking have the understanding that things are going on around us where it's going to fucking murder everybody or walking the fuck around? And what they're telling people it, it is is a whole goddamn lie? And you are fucking walking around like your money matters. And it doesn't. Your money is not going to save you if these motherfuckers choose to kick in your motherfucking door and make you to do some shit that you don't, you don't fucking want to do. You being a goddamn NBA young boy and all that bullshit and her being Floyd Mayweather's wife is not going to matter a motherfucking day. 
And what these motherfuckers is not going to get is until it happens to a real black ass celebrity that that all that celebrity don't matter and you could get murked like the fucking rest of us. That's when the world is going to realize what the fuck time it is. And it's going to be too goddamn late. And I just hope you're on fucking deck. That, that, that's the trill. Check one, two bitches. You don't got to take that kind of shit. You don't got to walk around it just because a nigga bought. Let me tell you something. I was riding around with racks on deck and I was fucking miserable. Do you understand what I'm saying? Whatever the fuck year it was, was the car I was driving. And I'm not, that's no exaggeration. That's not, ooh, I was all alive. I, I don't live nowhere ill right now. I'm not nowhere ill. My spot is not ill. My spot is not ill. It was nothing like the fuck I had. Nothing, nothing at all. But I am the happiest I ever been, dog on dogs, nigga. Money don't motherfucking matter, nigga. You can be on like, yo, listen. All that shit don't fucking matter. And I hope she don't realize too late. Because some people make it and some people don't. Like, shout out to my best friend. That's real fucking talk. And if he's doing all that shit and ain't got no problem, I know he's putting hands on her. That nigga is doing the most disrespectful shit that I, you know, that I have experienced. And, and how he move and how he rock is what I, I know. Yes, I do have the understanding that some of the things that he talk about is on deck. But no. Uh, on day-to-day -day action, that's how he is. That's how he roll. That's what it is. That's what time it is. And that lets me know, no, no, nigga, don't fucking not be, like, out your shit and getting your money and riding on niggas and do what the fuck. Not riding on niggas. Not riding on niggas. But you are misdirecting that fucking bullshit. I'm gonna need you, my nigga. We need all that gangsterism, all that rah, 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 rah. That is misdirected warrior spirit. We are a warrior fucking class. That's why we get hyped like that. That's why we move like that. That's why we be like ready to la, la, la. Like, that's why we, because that's how we is. You know what I'm saying? But for the men, that needs that's misdirected. We are directing it to 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 niggas. Y'all know who I want to say directed to, but my video will be taken down. Y'all need to watch the the hate you give documentary. Y'all need to watch Black Panther documentary. You need to watch the movie Malcolm X, the shit on Netflix. You, we not the black men, the niggas who claim to be fucking whatever the fuck it is that you're fucking. You think that you're talking about? Why you ready to let off on niggas? Why you why you letting off on niggas? When you really, 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 really need to be. You, you, you want to ride on that nigga over there, but the other niggas, the real motherfuckers that could, that could really wipe the block off for real while you think you running it. I mean, it's like that post I put on the gram with the niggas that were like hella was banging with the bandanas and then the crackers in the suits, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Gates, the Clintons, all them, you know, the real gangsters, you know, the ones that's, you know, setting up to do some shit, pull licks on us for real. Like, 9-11 was a lick. They pull licks on us all the time. I just wonder what this is. It, it, it has to be based on some fucking thief, thievery. Or some sort of something. And, and I just don't, I just... I don't get that. Like when it's time to be like that, I just, I don't know.
Maybe I'm tripping. I, I, I don't know. I mean, you know. Hey. But to the chicks, you know, for the ladies, I, I know what it's like to go through various situations with balling ass fuckheads. Because, let me tell you something. I'm going to just put it like this. If you are currently dealing with this type scenario, it might not even be on the level of an NBA young boy, right? And you just so happen to like not, you love this nigga, right? Like on dogs, like you probably inside, like you, for you, for whoever this might be, for whatever check. Right, you riding with this thing, you ain't never seen a nigga ball in the mix like this before ever in your life, you know what I'm saying? Um, and this is for the regular chicks, okay? Um, and, and, and even for the chicks that come from a place of money, like you, you know what I'm saying? Even for that, because if it's your nigga, it's different from your fam, the nigga that you fucking on, right? So, so check one, two, right. So if you if you 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 fuck with a nigga and you are like yo I ain't never seen no nigga ball like this this is just a generalized standardized testing okay he's got the L web he's mad popular niggas rock with him you know what I'm saying this niggas you know like just L you know how they show out you know how it ain't nothing for whatever the fuck that it is you know what I'm saying? Niggas is driving fast. Niggas is smoking dumb ill weed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I never smoked this before. Oh, shit. I never drank this before. Oh, shit. I ain't never been before. Oh, boom. We out of town. Oh, boom. We in this city. Oh, boom. We in that city. Like, yo, it's just mad fast. Boom. You in New York. Boom. You in Miami. Boom. You in fucking D.C. Boom. You back in the city. Boom. You showing up. Boom. It, it's just dumb quick. It's, and it's constantly going. It's constantly, oh, we in the mall. Oh, we buying shit. Oh, we showing out. Oh, oh, I fucked that up. Oh, no one. Oh, showing out, niggas. Bing, bing, bing. Don't give a fuck. We eating this. We drinking now. We doing this. We doing that. Look at this bad bitch. Ding, ding. Make a check her ass. Oh, we got a bit over hole. Let me see it. All I right. This is just, it's just like, oh, goddamn. And mind you, for me, for me, I love the cars. It, niggas with the ill whips. It's just, oh, my God. Something about that. Just so boom, it's mad ill. You bling, ding, and you doing your thing. Well, now look, my nails, bitch, cost a hundred dollars. Fuck. Well, that was just for me. You know what I'm saying? We was her bitch, okay? Boom, my nails, my woofy scoop cost four. My woofy scoop. You, you know what I'm saying? Bam. Check one two. That's gonna fucking die out, yo. That ain't gonna be shit because after a minute, y'all niggas is gonna be used to that. Especially if you you are adding to the the fucking equation, right? So say you're the type chick to add to the equation. You bring something to the fucking table. That's why that nigga fucks with you the hard way. So he's kicking bitches to the curb for your ass, smashing on that hoe for your ass, fuck that punk ass bitch for your ass. So now you're the L shit. You're the L bitch. Like you got done, nigga. Like you now it's like, oh shit, bitch, I got the nigga, oh my god, like, oh my god, like, I got to be on that, now I super got to be on that, and boom, now, here comes the shit with all of that, so why these bitches is thinking that is ill shit to be in your fucking shoes, riding around in the ill whip, you gotta deal with all the trill shit, when it goes down to the ground, when this nigga gets shot, when this nigga gotta go to jail, when you gotta meet up with lawyers, when you gotta mother well, auntie duties kicked in in the midst of a flashback, okay? Welcome to the new kitchen. It's looking really good in here, right? We got the whole remix, so it's an extra cracker. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, like I was saying, all that shit's gonna fade, sweetie. All that money, all that shine, all that bullshit, that nigga's gonna get old. And if he don't step his motherfucking game up, uh, he's gonna be left in the dust. And to keep it even longer, what is this? Ain't it in what? For people who are wrong, women don't get visited in prison, sweetie. So, 
Look at countless after countless story of women getting left behind in jail. Holding they niggas down for mad years. The other chick, the other bitch on deck. And guess what happened? She got left in the dust and she was riding for him the hardest. Yo, sorry I gotta cut all this short. It might gotta be a part two. Because I was in the midst of going ham. And I got surprised with my nephew. It's just, that's what it is. It's life. But listen, you gotta choose better. And if you choosing a nigga that's disrespecting your father, then you already fucking up from drunk. Oh, um, I wish her the best. I know her father gonna look out. He got too money, too much money to, to not look out. And I hope NBA grows up because he got potential. But right now you fucking up, B. And just like that nigga said, don't be getting mad girls pregnant. And look, this is what happens when you tell them one bitch you ever this and that playing games. Look what happens. Look what happens. So anyway, I got to get out. I got to make snacks and tend to my booger. So yeah, peace, love, and hair grease and all that jazz. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Share if you care. Share if you dare. Uh, especially if you a motherfucking care man. Let's not play these games, y'all. Let's get it to a stack, okay? We're going to get a stack and it's going to be a G of us out here rolling, okay? So yeah, um, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace, y'all.